What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a different sort of video on the channel today. Today we're going to be talking about how to hold onto a clean sheet in squad battles extremely easily once you're 5-0 up already and uh, you've already got all your th all your things. Now, I want to preface this by saying that I was watching a video by Nepenthes about two days ago on his Road to Glory channel. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. And basically it was episode number 43 in which he talks about how to get max points in squad battles. And and um, over the past couple of days, I've been using a lot of tips from this, and um, I've been definitely trying to get a lot more points. Um, I definitely didn't know about the corners, and I really, really needed to know about those corners. So you definitely want, when you want to get max points, what you want to be doing, summarizing it quick for you guys, you want to be getting uh, five goals, you want to have a clean sheet, you want to get 10 shots on target, and you want to get 10 corners. Now, have, however, when he got to the later stages of his match, what he was doing was he was passing around his entire team just to try and see at that clean sheet. And there's a much, much, much easier way for, um, for you guys to do this. So right now we're going to be talking about how to do that. And uh, hopefully this allows you guys to keep hold of clean sheets a lot easier within your gameplay. So let's get straight into it. Alrighty guys, so as you can see right now, I am 7-0 up. It is the 85th minute. I've got the 10 shots that I needed on target. I've also got 58% possession and 7 corners. And at this point, I'm pretty, pretty happy at the points I'm going to get. I, I, I don't really want to try and go for those 10 corners. I want to hold out this game and make sure I can get as many points as possible. So right here, guys, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be holding down left trigger and right trigger or L2 and R2 if you're on PlayStation. And what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be crab walking up and down in the bottom left and right corners of your opposition half. Now, um, obviously this is very important that you're in these sort of positions because I feel like you're a lot more isolated from your opponent and you'll see that uh, occasionally they do try and press you and they get very, very close. But what you can do is you can just back off and um, basically you can just keep on holding the ball in this corner and they basically won't do anything. And the reason for this, guys, is if you look at that player, that second player that normally presses, he's trying to get Lukaku right there. And Lukaku makes that run down the wing every time you go to that byline and it just gets rid of that second player. So you're basically just one on one and that dude will only jockey and he only does jockey and basically you're just going to be able to hold out the game for the rest of the match. And that's amazing, guys, because what you want to be doing is you want to be holding onto these 5-0 6-0, 7-0 victories against Legendary, and um, you want to be getting these points. You definitely want to be getting, getting these points. And yes, of course, it is hard to get these 5-0 victories, but I think once you get to the stage where you've got it, it's going to be a lot easier for you to hold on to it. And that's how you want to be playing. You want to be able to hold on to your 5-0 victories and make sure you can see out the game. And as you can see, we get 7-0 victory and uh, we get a lot of possession, putting us up to about 2,700 points. And I'm going to jump over to a second clip right now. And in this clip, guys, what you're going to, going to be seeing is you're going to be seeing us being 5-1 up in the 60th minute and me using this technique once again. Now, unfortunately, in this uh, clip, I wasn't able to go 5-0 and oh, just because the uh, AI actually scored before I scored any of my goals. So I was 1-0, and oh, but we managed to bring it back to 5-1. and one. And, um... Basically, in this clip, guys, what it's going to show you is that it does work over the long term. The previous clip was only from the 85th minute. However, this one is going to be from the 60th minute, and it's going to show you that this does work over a long period of time. You can potentially do this for the entirety of the match, even when the AI is on ultra attacking. And why I think this method works is because what happens is when the AI is on like ultra attacking, all out attack, what they try to do is they try to cover the potential passes. So when you have one person just standing still, they double team you and they're able to get the ball back. However, when you're just trying to pass the ball around nicely, what they're going to do is they're going to try to uh, cover the potential passes. And because the passing mechanics are the best in this game, you'll see that often, occasionally, the passes don't go where you want to go. And we actually saw this in Nepo's video, where he tries to pass to a dude in space, and it passes it straight to the AKI because it just doesn't recognize that that pass is a viable option. So basically, with this, guys, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be hitting two birds with one stone, and you're basically going to be just containing the the ball and making as many passing opportunities available while still just containing the ball in that little corner right there and it's just going to walk up and down up and down and as long as you stay a safe distance away from your opponent you're going to be able to hold onto this game now i really really like to go close to the screen just so i have a lot more control over my player and uh right here what you're going to be doing is um uh, what you guys are going to see is that you guys are going to see that i actually give up possession right here as you can see i didn't stay a safe uh distance 
away from the opponents and he's going to be able to tackle the ball. But again, if you lose the ball, go get the ball back and just just contain the ball and you should be all good to go. And you should be able to see out these legendary games relatively easily with um, not too much energy expended. And that's what you want because these, these squad battles games are a grind. They're really, really irritating in my opinion and uh, they're not the best in my opinion. But from this game, we're going to be able to get 2,500 points, which I think is decent from a 2-1 uh, from a 5-1 victory against Legendary AI, and uh, that's going to see us get a very, very nice point total, and uh, hopefully progress us towards that elite and goal and top 100 standing but that's gonna do for this episode guys and this little video hopefully it did help you if you guys are having any troubles with getting into legendary i would highly recommend go check out nepo's video um i think he's done two videos on how to beat legendary so i'll put both of them in the description down below but um yeah that's pretty much gonna do it for this video guys hopefully it did help you if it did don't forget to smash a big old thumbs up drop a subscribe as always leave a comment down below tell me if it helped or um any other feedback or criticism you have. And on top of that, guys, I believe that my Road to Glory should be coming up out tomorrow's episode. But I had a problem where when I went to update Xbox's um, FIFA 18 copy, what happened was it actually deleted my game. So I had to reinstall everything. I had to re-download everything. So that was just a massive pain. But um, hopefully for you guys, it should be up tomorrow and uh, we should be all good there. But as always, drop a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, add subscribe as always. And I'm until next time guys, I'll see you guys in the next video on my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a nice day.